Today, I want to do a flip through of Grammar Tales. Hey, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool. I do have a fifth grader and we are really just enjoying this ride and I'm enjoying getting to know you through YouTube. Today, I want to do just a flip through of Grammar Tales. So I found this. It does say that it is for grades three and up. And so I just want to turn the camera around and show you what this is. We have not used it yet, so I can't tell you whether we like it or not, <laughs> but I just wanted to um, give you a flip through. If you have any questions, please make sure that you do leave those down in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Grammar Tales comes as a set where you have a teacher's guide plus 10 individual books based on the different parts of speech or what they want you to be, learn, be learning at that time. Your topics include nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, capitalization, commas, quotation marks, sentence structure, and proofreading. So let's get started. Um, again, this is for grades three and up. So this is the teacher's guide. So within the teacher's guide, you can see that there for each book, mini book, there is a lesson plan, then the mini book that you have to actually put together. And I'll show you that it's really easy. So you have a note to the teachers, and this just explains why learning why you need to learn grammar. Welcome to Grammar Tales, and this gives you a more in-depth um, discussion about Grammar Tales. You have lefts and plans, overheads if you need them, mini books, the mini book activities, which are included in the mini books, and then the answer keys are included in the back of the guide. Some teaching tips. Um, using the mini books and then using the mini books activities. And then here is how to assemble the mini book. So you can see within the, um, within each section, you can tear out a mini book and you make double sided copies, however many you need. And then you'll be assembling that. And I'll show you assemble it in just a minute. Then you also have assessment and then we're getting into nouns. So nouns is the first part of speech. You have background on nouns, before reading the book, during reading, after reading, and then to extend learning. Okay, so here is your book. Chicken in the City is your book for um, nouns. And then here is the mini book. So this is my copy of the mini book that I made. The first thing that you want to do is you'll cut it along the edge for all of the pages. Now there is a line where you will be just folding it according to that line. And now I just need to put them in order. So here is my mini book that will correspond with nouns. So as you can see, the um, front page looks the same. And then within the mini book, you see that you can have um, this, they can follow along. So you'll have the, the hmm. and so you will have the, the story. And then there's also questions that you can ask. This book has a lot of nouns in it. Do you know what a noun is? Share your ideas. And it's the same in the mini book. And then we're going to be getting to some activities. What they re recommend is that the first time that you read this book, you don't um, use the sad sidebar activities, but then you use them later. Um, we're going to be using this for a review since my daughter has already learned what nouns and verbs are. So we'll probably really use the sidebar um, immediately, but you cannot if you don't need to.
then at the end, so, so we finished the book. And then at the end, you have your Let's Review, which is the same. But then there are some activities. So here's a box full of nouns, um, a crossword puzzle, be a noun detective, uh, word search, and then try this. How many nouns can you think of that begin with the first letter of your name? Make a list of people, animal places, things, and feelings. Then use your words to write the story about yourself. So that's really good because that's going to incorporate writing into what we are doing coming up. So obviously, next you have verbs and action verbs and linking verbs you'll be talking about. There's the same mini book with the same types of activities. Adjectives. All adjectives all around. So here's your activity to do before you read the book. And then you have the mini book. So for each of these um, books, there is a mini book that goes along. Pronouns. Right. So here's capitalization. This is what you do before and the story below has 21 capitalization errors. Can you find them all? And then you have your mini book regarding capitalization. So let's look at the different subjects and the books that they are um, include. So first of all, you have nouns, then verbs, a verb for herb. Adjectives is the bug book. Tilly's tuba is adverbs. I really like the, um, the pictures. They're very engaging and colorful. <laughs> pronouns, a pl the planet without pronouns. Capitalization, the mega deluxe capitalization machine. So this one gives you rules for capitalization. And then here are your rules, um, a reminder of your six rules for capitalization. Commas. On a separate sheet, shorten the sentence by replacing all but the last and with commas. So the kitten was small and furry and mischievous and playful and cuddly. So then you would practice writing with commas. Quotation marks, the mystery of the missing socks. The no good rotten run on sentence. So this is all about sentence structure. Is this a run on sentence? So you have to, it's very engaging and interactive. Proofreading. Francine Fribble proofreading policewoman. All writers make mistakes. To help find yours, try running your finger under each word as you proofread it, which is a great practice to get into. Again, for each one of these books, there is a mini book included in the teacher's guide, um, but these are very fun books and um, just for either introducing or reviewing the parts of speech, capitalization, proofreading. Again, this is recommended for grades three and up. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.